Liverpool's academy has a storied history of nurturing talent, from legends like Stephen McManaman, Robbie Fowler, Jamie Carragher, Michael Owen, and Stephen Gerrard in the 90s to recent graduates like Trent Alexander-Arnold, Curtis Jones, and Keeman Kelleher. Promising talents like Harvey Elliott and Stefan Bedsetic continue to emerge, making Liverpool's academy a hotbed of potential. However, there was a challenging period in the noughties when Liverpool struggled to produce first-team stars after Gerrard. Despite their successful past, the academy faced a drought. It took managerial changes under Rafa Benitez and Brendan Rodgers before Liverpool's academy regained its luster under Jurgen Klopp. A glimpse into the past via 442's 2001 list of top 100 young players reveals Liverpool's mixed fortune. While the list featured notable names like Kaka, only ranked 95th, it also included six Liverpool players. However, only one from that group truly became a standout star. Injuries played a significant role in derailing the careers of promising talents like Ramon Caliste, Chris Kirkland, and Gregory Vignal. Others, such as Dean Ashton and Zlatan Ibrahimovic, narrowly missed joining Liverpool, while Milan Barrows enjoyed success with the Reds but later embarked on a journeyman career. The top 10 on the list featured Liverpool recruits Anthony Latalek and Florence Sanama Pongal who couldn't entirely fulfill their potential. Jermaine Pennant had a mixed spell at Liverpool before a journeyman career, while Fernando Torres, Liverpool's record sign, had a stellar start before injury issues and a controversial Chelsea move. The list concluded with Gibral Sis, who achieved success with Liverpool but faced two career-altering injury. Ultimately, this exercise underscores the unpredictability of football careers, where highly rated youngsters don't always meet their potential. Fortunately, Liverpool's academy has evolved over the years, producing more successful talents in recent times. Hold me close till I get up.